you should be intimidated. Everyone can do well in the stock market. All you have to have is patience, do a little research. You've got it. Don't worry about it. Don't panic. Peter Lynch is one of the most successful traders of our time, but he had a very simple investing strategy, which you can copy. There's two parts to it. One is a formula, another is how he applied it. The formula is very simple. It's the future growth of earnings per share plus the dividend yield divided by the price to earnings ratio. If that figure comes out to less than one, then this company is overvalued. If this comes from one to 1.5, then it's fairly valued. If it comes close to two, then it's undervalued. And if it's close to three, then it's a very undervalued opportunity. That's the first part and the easy part to copy in one of the most successful traders of all time. But there's more. Unlocking investment insights and decoding shopping trends for profit. Peter Lynch, the legendary investor, was renowned for an unconventional yet remarkably effective investment strategy. Observing the habits of teenagers during his trips to the shops, he understood that the pulse of consumer behavior often led to profitable trading signals. How did he do it? by meticulously analyzing the products and services of the companies he invested in. Lynch gained a profound insight then into market trends. But how can you too benefit from this strategy? I had a picker request from a Patreon subscriber asking this very question and curious about a company whose products are gaining immense popularity among certain types of shoppers. They want to understand how to harness these trends for financial gain. Welcome to the world of making money by understanding shopping trends. Understanding the Lynchian approach means to understand his grounded hands-on research that he did by observing the shopping habits of teenagers. He detected emerging trends and products that were gaining traction. However, Lynch didn't stop at mere observations down at the mall. He delved deeper, analyzing companies behind these products to ascertain their financial health and growth potential, analyzing fundamental data. To follow in Lynch's footsteps, we must delve into the fundamental data and accounting ratios, starting with the simple price to earnings ratio. This indicates the market's expectations of a company's future earnings growth. A low price to earning ratio might suggest undervaluation, signifying a potential investment opportunity. You could combine this with your picture of the charts to develop the starting point of that opportunity and manage that trade as it evolves. Along with that fundamental ratio, we'd also want to add another, the debt to equity ratio. This reveals a company's financial leverage or its gearing. A lower debt level is generally favorable, indicating a more stable financial structure. Market size and competition analysis. Understanding the market size and competitive landscape is crucial. Evaluating the total addressable market, TAM, the overall revenue opportunity that's available for a specific product or service, a growing TAM suggests a broad customer base, indicating potential for increased sales. Additionally, we might want to assess the competitive advantage of that particular company. Does it hold patents or exclusive contracts or superior technology or particular licenses? Such advantages 
can create barriers to entry which would safeguard that company's market share. Reading between the shopping bags. Beyond a single ticker, comprehend the broader implications of these shopping habits. Consider if the growing popularity of a particular product signifies a larger shift in consumer preferences. Are shoppers leaning towards sustainable products, innovative technologies, or ethical brands? Identifying these trends could unveil opportunities across various sectors or identify opportunities in the mechanism of a trade. So you could long one company within a sector and short another, which would reduce the risk of the overall sector moving. And you could then base your investment on the experience you have at the mall and on the charts to pick that company that you think would be stronger. So a hedge trade within a sector. Spotting hidden opportunities and exploring related industries. If a surge in tech gadgets or mining equipment or large scale adoption of artificial intelligence is observed, then explore companies involved in semiconductor manufacturing or those needed for AI chip development. Look for interconnected sectors while increasing demand in one area could be a profit signaling mechanism for growth in another. So in the world of investing, observing shopping trends isn't just about identifying a single winning stock. It's about deciphering the underlying currents of consumer behavior by meticulously analyzing those fundamental ratios and applying your understanding to the charts along with market size, evaluating the competition, and interpreting the broader shopping trends, you would be able to uncover not just one profitable investment, but a multitude of opportunities across the stock market. So next time you head to the shops, keep your eyes open. You might just find the key to unlocking your next successful trade or even business adventure. Thanks very much for watching. This has been a part of the Trade Spotting series for new but serious investors is part of my trade Patreon. If you'd like to join up and support me, it's www.patreon.com slash tradespotting. You'll get more back than you put in. I'll do my best on that front. And if you'd like to get the same services, but also benefit from Rocky Outcrops Discord, check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.